YouTube, Arlene here, and Merry Christmas! <laughs> I know it's already mid-December uh, time frame by the time that I'm uploading this video. Uh, as I've mentioned in the uh, past video with James working on his kids' phenomenal Halloween costumes, I was also working behind the scenes on another project for my best friend Rob, who I have mentioned on this channel before. Um, he, we've been best friends since college. He is a great confidant of mine and he has just moved to Philly on his own which is very exciting really kind of embracing himself and finding out who he is outside of the small hometown where he's from in Pennsylvania. Um, so when time came around for him to kind of explore that side the Cruella movie from Disney finally came out and uh, the, the live action obviously and he absolutely fell in love with the character um, again because I was so busy with everything to do with the house I ended up doing only uh, the kids costumes as well as his and mine I just wore one of the many costumes that I have hanging on a rack <laughs> that I just haven't had a chance to wear just yet. Um, so this video is kind of just going over the costume that I was able to make for Rob. Uh, so again, he was very much inspired by Emma Stone's interpretation of Cruella. Um, so when he came forward to me with a project to help him design something unique just for him to really be his first time doing cosplay, I was more than excited and happy to help. Uh, and I immediately started getting different ideas and inspiration. Uh, the movie, if you guys have watched it, um, it's very like 70s punk inspired. So I first started off my creative process um, with just finding men's inspiration because I've never really worked with menswear before. Um, and kind of again pulling from the movie, I uh, originally sketched out a um, more punk type of design. I did a men's, men's formal business wear. Um, he also owns this really awesome modern uh, like businessman coat that I know he absolutely loves. Uh, so that was another thing that I interpreted in the five different designs I initially came up with him with. Um, and I also made more of a feminine uh, type of style as well. Um, so once I completed those sketches, I showed them uh, to Rob, and these were the two that he chose. He loved the idea of the three-piece suit, very, you know, very uh, classic, very uh, fashion-forward, we'll say. <laughs> you can't really go wrong with the three-piece suit on a guy, and uh, it was something that he thought he could absolutely rock in the Philly scene. And then for his second look, because you can't just do one look in Philly, that's just not allowed and just not very Cruella to just do one. So our second option was to go with that more modern uh, type of outfit um, where he just has a very long coat and a uh, detailed shirt that has kind of more of that hipster vibe to it, if you will. Um, so I got together with Rob. We kind of changed around the patterns here. I did originally make the three-piece suit full Dalmatian, but we thought it was just a little bit too much so we ended up doing this kind of alternating half and half situation. So from there I started looking online for all these different patterns that would match the designs that we had worked on and I did find a few different ones and I ended up with these three right here. Uh, so for the suit, more particularly the pants, um, we went with Berta style uh, 6871 um, we weren't quite fans of the uh, vest in particular in this one, so um, we just did the A jacket and the pants. Because um, the vest, it just came up a little bit too high around the neck. We wanted it to be lower to really show off the red tie um, that you will see uh, Rob eventually wear at the, on the day of. Um, we ended up mixing the just plain black tie. He needed some kind of pop of color. Um, and then I went with simplicity for a vest, uh, and we chose option C there, so it's just a single row instead of the double-breasted version that they have there at the bottom. Um, and we also didn't get to put a collar on it, uh, which I thought was helpful, obviously, to me, but less to do. Um, and then we also did for the cloak, uh, or just long coat version, um, we went with option 
uh, McCall's costume M7374. Um, oh, I didn't say the simplicity is 4762. So the McCall's costume, this was really exciting because obviously this one's made specifically for more costume type of design. It has a lot of structure to it. So I was very excited to get started on that. Then it was time to order the actual fabric, which came out to, <laughs> that was an adventure, let me tell you. This is over 27 yards of fabric uh, for the actual outside, the lining that will be on the inside, and then the interfacing, um, which I have uh, uh, I have used interfacing in the past. You guys might have seen uh, when I created Sam, uh, James's daughter's dress for Weiss from Ruby. Um, I was able to use some interfacing in her collar there just to give it that structure and that stiffness. Um, but there I used an iron-on and in these particular instructions for all of these um, patterns, which they do specify whether to use sew-in or iron-on. Because this is 27 yards of fabric, um, I did need to wash and iron all of these uh, pieces of fabric just to make sure that they were clean, uh, that they, they were pre-shrunk, and that they were actually flat when I do finally put the pattern pieces on. Um, now for the lining and the interfacing, I just ran to my Joanne Fabrics, but for the Dalmatian print, we got to look at a few different designs, but because it would be on the coat and the pants and the vest, um, we wanted to make sure it was all the same material. So if you ever run into the problem where you're trying to use two different types of fabric in one garment, it's very difficult to make them the same, unless they're the exact same material, it's just not going to look right. Because um, obviously it needs the same amount of stretch, it needs this same kind of sheen and the texture and things like that. So um, again, another service I've used in the past uh, that I've mentioned on here, spoonflower.com. Again, hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> um, but they give me the ability to choose a Dalmatian print. They had quite a few variety of patterns you can choose there. Um, and then I was able to get a solid black as well in the exact same type of fabric, which really helped me out when it actually came to collaborating all of these pieces together, which you will see <laughs> later on in the video. And one particular side note, when I did wash all of the fabric in my beautiful new washer and dryer, um, I did end up having to cut the pieces down, especially for the Dalmatian fabric, to actually iron them because it's a lot of fabric. I'm going to put up a picture here of the fabric just for the coat. This is just the coat, not the pants, the jacket, or the vest. And this is just the Dalmatian print portion. It's not the lining, it's not the interfacing. So it, my entire basement was covered. The entire freaking basement. <laughs> and head to toe folded up fabric. Um, that, that's the other thing is the, this image that I'm showing you guys is, is folded in half just for the coat. Um, just to kind of put in perspective for you guys how much fabric that I was working with here. Um, so just all of this was the pre-work to all of this, uh, the pattern, the fabric, and the prep. Um, and then obviously we start getting into the uh, more tedious stuff, again, more stuff that I couldn't really film the action of because it is just visually unstimulating. You just see me cutting in, at a sewing machine. You just don't really get to see it come to life. So I'm just going to show a few clips here and there. Um, and just kind of explain to you the general process, but this is with any pattern making that you would be using. Because again, this was my first time doing men's garments, so I wanted to make sure I had patterns <laughs> and, and really clear instructions on how to make it fit Rob. So as with any pattern that you work with, the first step is to lay out your fabric as flat as you can possibly get it. You don't want it to be stretched out, you want it to be relaxed laying flat and in the orientation that you need it to be. Um, because when you put on your pattern pieces, which is the next step, you want to make sure that the correct side of the fabric is facing up and matches the, again, because this is an alternating uh, half and half situation, I have to do a lot of imagining and like real clinical thinking of how these pattern pieces were going to work together and with the pattern that we want because 
again, with spoon flour, because these designs are printed directly onto the fabric, it's only on one side. <laughs> Most of the fact that you would get at Joanne Fabrics, it's the same color, same pattern on both sides. So this was an extra tricky situation for me, um, just making sure that the pattern would be on the correct side of the body and facing the correct out or inside of the fabric itself of, of the garment. So then once I finally did figure all that out, I want to say it took me quite a few hours just to place all of the pattern pieces onto the fabric as necessary and pinned it and then cut it. Thankfully I had electric scissors. Uh, it makes the whole process much faster and saves your hand a lot of pain. I finally ended up with this <laughs> beautiful array of pattern pieces for the jacket, vest, pants, and coat. And this is the black fabric, the Dalmatian fabric, the black lining, the red lining, and the interfacing. <laughs> so as you can see, I had a lot ahead of me. Um, and because the procrastinator in me, I was like, oh, I've done all this prep work like two weeks in advance. It's not going to take me long to sew it. Oh, how wrong I was. How very wrong I was. Um, <laughs> but uh, after seeing all these pieces together, I was like, great. And it gave me a whole jolt of confidence that I clearly did not deserve just yet. Uh, so then moved on into the sewing process. Thousands of tears later. Well. Is it filming? Yes, it is. We are rolling. We darling. are indeed. Me too, darling. We're rolling. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, thank you so much for one being the inspiration for this fabulous creation of Dalmatians. Uh, <laughs> so, darling, I am the inspiration of everything. That I am piece. Cruella. <laughs> no, so I had such a joy making this for you. It was a bit of a rush there at this the end. This is but... absolutely. Stunning. I had so much fun, like, going out, especially on Halloween, and getting all the attention. <laughs> yes, yes, the amount of photos which we shall place here yes. uh, of you at Woody's is like... Yes, yeah, it living. was... I was living for it. There were so many, like, people and wanted to take pictures with me. I found other Cruellas. I was better Cruella, of, of course. course, but, you know... Um, no, this is stunning. You did an amazing job. Thank like, you. Like, this vest, the pants. I'm just so glad, like, it fit you so perfectly. I yeah. barely had to alter the Oh, my God, yeah. Like, <laughs> I remember when we were, you, I, like, I came over, like, a few times, and you, we, like, measured me, like, constantly to make sure. And I was, like, I, I, I was really, like, hoping deep down, like, okay, please don't be baggy. Please don't be baggy. <laughs> and it wasn't. It was perfection. It's better than some of my own... Two pants. <laughs> oh, well then. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'll, I'll send over the pattern too. Yeah, so that'd be can great. That'd be great. Over. I just don't think this might fly going to uh, business. No, probably not. But but they clearly have no style if that's the case. Clearly, I'm opinion. just I'm still in shock. Like the structure of the jacket. Again, mm -hmm. I I ran out of thread to do the rest of the lining, <laughs> but the bit we made it work. We did make it. You work. made it you, work. You worked it. Uh, you made it. <laughs> Stop. And this, this, I can't, I, I've been petting this. It's, it's so, so soft. soft. I love it. I can't believe you just found this at just a hot regular yeah, Halloween Yeah, re regular store. Halloween store. It was $40. However, obviously, you know me, um, I broke the bank and I bought more stuff. <laughs> it's all good. Again, I am sorry that I wasn't able to make the actual suit jacket. Yes, but I yeah. But think, I think it was a good call to nix it. One, you, I don't think you would have been able to really wear it yeah no dancing like, and already like dancing and this it was hot but it wasn't too hot like i wore i wore the vest and everything i didn't yeah. touch anything it was, it was great <laughs> but you're right that if i wore the suit jacket with it it would have been a problem definitely yeah. would have been a problem uh, function over fashion that's always my motto on this channel yes <laughs> but like i would have like the jacket, unfortunately the jacket wasn't created in time for that, it was the day after, but Sorry. no. But you know what that means, next year I can wear this costume again and just put on the jacket and call it a brand new costume. The, the so. fact that you are like totally willing to wear it again, oh my like, god, is blowing my, like, this I was, was so like... much fun to wear, <laughs> not even kidding, I had so many people compliment me and obviously I tagged you and everything. Yes, so. yes, he did. To God bless. Yes. Thank you. But no, you look absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. I'm super, super. Like, again, I will never do menswear again. This is the first and last time. I might do a coat again because 
I've loved this coat. What was like the most <laughs> difficult part about it all for you? The what? freaking pockets. I now understand. The pockets of the pants? I now understand <laughs> why women's fashion doesn't have pockets. Because the way that the instructions like were trying to word it mm -hmm. to me, I, I couldn't. I just couldn't. So thankfully they look great on you. That's why I only did the front two. I didn't do the back two. One, I didn't want to mess up the right. butt. <laughs> well, like, I didn't need butt pockets. To be to be honest, for me, I don't use my butt pockets at all. They're always yeah. my front. Yeah. And I remember you were, like, saying, like, you were, we were, like, trying to, to get everything going and yeah. whatnot. And it was like, do you need pockets? I'm like, I need something to put my phone in. But you know what? <laughs> it was an experience. I now know how to make pockets. Yes. Actually, a nice, quick, and easy way now, too. Yeah. The most fun was probably the coat, just because, mm -hmm. I know for me, I was, like, trying it on before I dropped it off to you, and, like, the the structure of, like, the collar being able to pop mm -hmm. it and stuff like that. Oh, was, yeah, like, the popping of it, yeah. like, it, like, really brings out the whole... It I'm does. Evil. Also, I've never <laughs> made anything with sleeves before. So really? this is my first attempt at a sleeve, and the fact... And, Every costumer I know says that putting on sleeves is the biggest pain in the butt. Sleeves as in like this? Or? Yeah, like the the attachment up at the uh. shoulder is always like, there's always something it's like right. trying to match up the holes just hmm. right. And it actually came together so well. I think it came together brilliantly, darling. <laughs> Don't you think, darling? Yes, <laughs> we agree. Thank you, thank yes. you so much for the inspiration for the funding. It is yours to keep. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it, and I appreciate the time you put into this, and you did a phenomenal job. Thank Absolutely you. phenomenal. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. You're the best. I love you. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this bit. Um, as always, the YouTube drill, like, comment, subscribe. Every interaction helps with building our lovely channel. Absolutely. Hit the notification bell, obviously, to make sure that you know next time we're posting more yes, videos. Yes, Because now that, again, as I said in our last video for uh, James's kids' video, now that I have a house, I have a crafting space, so you'll be getting a lot more content from me in the future. I love it, darling. I love it. And we might see a few, a few more looks of this one in the future. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.